Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get total storage or use a storage of the device, the phone in your Android app. So let's begin. Let's create a new project. Empty project, name it storage info in, in the in Android app. And also things I will leave it as it is. I'm using uh, the latest API 34 version. Click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while, so I'll just wait. Our environment has come up and I have also started my emulator in parallel on the right hand side. Uh, so let me start. So first I'll uh, do my uh, UI part. So over here, let me add a button. And this button, we, I'll just rename it to something like a storage info. A storage info just for simplicity. And give this constraints and i'll use this text view to print my output okay so no i'm not sure why it didn't switch and i'll give it some id so that i can fetch it from the or i can access it rather not fetch it but access it i'll do control z i didn't want to yeah i want to give the dimensions and app content Okay, and uh, I'll also do one thing. I'll just increase the size of this one. So from 14 uh, mega, 14 SP to probably uh, 24 or let us say even higher, 34 SP. This looks good. Uh, perfect. Okay, uh, now I'll switch to Java code. So over here, first and foremost, I'll create a method. Public Y button storage info and view so that I can go and associate this method to my button on click attribute over here. And here in the on click attribute, we'll associate it with that particular method name. Okay. And if I go back to my Java code, now the color of this becomes a bit highlighted. And we'll also do the text view. Okay. So we what we'll do? We will create a local variable for text view. Text view. And in my own kit method, I'll associate it with the widget id what we just defined in the layout so r dot id dot text view is the widget id perfect now we have the, uh, all the methods and here so let me complete this method so i'll quickly pause and complete this method and then try to explain yeah so i completed my this uh, method so here what i'm doing is okay so let me first import the required class so alt enter import class and import class for environment also and that's as you think is fine so here what i'm doing is in this uh, uh, method in this file system method so it's trying to fetch the all the information about the space in this file system okay and then i'm using this to fetch the information of about the block size what is the size of each and every block how many are total blocks and what is the number of blocks available and once i have that then it's simple multiplication so total storage will be block size into total blocks and that will be of course in bytes and then available blocks will be uh, same block size into number of available blocks and then use blocks will be the difference between those two and then i'm using this my text view to print the output so total storage is i'm formatting it uh, okay yeah here i have written more helper method so format size so here i'm making it more like uh, smooth for high end uh, reader so i'm changing it to kb mb like based on the size of the data mostly it will be gb only gigabyte but yeah uh if what if yeah some of the device which has lesser uh capacity then it may fall to mb and kb uh, also and once that suffix is fixed here then in this string builder i'm just taking the file size and converting into the string format so that in the string builder i can get it as a result builder and then i'm checking whether there is a dot or not if there is a dot then i'm taking a decimal place up to three digits here in this comma offset we check whether there is an index of this dot is available or not if it's available then that's like let's get in zero the index of then we'll restrict the decimal point till two digits so this three is including the decimal point one is for decimal point then till two digits we'll restrict and this will print okay and then after that we'll append the suffix whatever it comes from here so let me read on this app uh, in the device and let's see how it comes. So it's coming up. Uh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. So let me click this. Perfect. 
So if you see total storage, so if I scroll up, this is from where it is getting printed. Total storage is 5.8 GB and user storage is 1.9 GB. So that's all I wanted to show you in this short video. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.